Hi, and welcome to the Elatech TCP Converter 2 Overview. My name is Ken Buck, and I am a solution architect for Elatech. The Elatech TCP Converter 2 is designed to enable card based features like authentication and pull printing on devices which do not have support for the direct connection of a USB proximity card reader. For example, single function printers, which do not have a USB host receptacle where the reader can be plugged in. To enable printing on these devices, the card reader connects directly to the TCP converter 2, and when a card is swiped, the converter will then send the card data directly to the authentication server. In this way, the card data completely bypasses the single function printer. As a result, TCP converter 2 can work with network printers from any printer manufacturer. The converter will consume only one IP address from the customer's network. Because the converter contains a router function, it will provide the printer with a new IP address which is local to the converter. This is important to large enterprise customers where the information technology department bills monthly based on the number of IP addresses actually in use. TCP Converter 2 can be discovered on the network using software tools supplied by Alitech. The converter can then be configured over the network via its internal web pages or from network tools developed by the customer. Numerous document management solutions are able to recognize and communicate with the TCP Converter 2 for authentication and for the release of held print jobs. Our list of document management solution partners can be supplied upon request. We offer the ability to install custom inlays so the converter can display your custom logo or other defining graphics. Contact us for details on this service. We offer the TCP Converter 2 at a very competitive price. <clears throat> Feel free to contact us for a quote. This slide shows how the TCP Converter 2 fits into the environment. The converter connects directly to the network using the customer network drop previously used by the printer. The converter is default configured for dynamic host configuration protocol, also known as DHCP, so it will retrieve its IP address from the customer's DHCP server. The printer now connects to the TCP converter, which will then provide the printer with a new IP address. In this way, only one customer IP address is used by the converter and printer combination. The reader connects to the converter which sends the card data directly to the authentication server. If the TCP Converter 2 is configured to assume the host name previously used by the connected printer, print jobs sent to that same host name will arrive at the printer via the TCP Converter 2. The next few slides will explain in more detail how the TCP Converter 2 works. The first slide is a simplified view of direct IP printing, where a user sends print jobs directly from their workstation to the printer. Let's assume that this is the situation before proximity card-based printing is introduced into the environment. In this view, there are four players, the administrator, desktop user, DHCP server, and printer. At power up, the printer receives its IP address from the customer's DHCP server and uses a host name of EasyPrint1. The print driver on the user's workstation is configured via host name and at print time will contact the domain name server, also known as DNS server, to learn the IP address of the printer. If the user's print driver is using LPR printing, it will send jobs directly to the printer via port 9100. The administrator can configure the printer from the printer's web page at the standard HTT port of 80. In this slide, we introduce the TCP Converter 2 to the environment. In this view, there are seven players, the administrator, desktop user, DHCP server, printer, TCP Converter 2, card reader, and an authentication server. For this example, let's assign the TCP Converter 2 with the host name originally assigned to the printer. The printer is now connected to the converter and is configured for DHCP. Since it is on a separate internal network, it can retain its host name of EasyPrint1. Next, the TCP Converter 2 will be configured with the IP address and port number to be used for communication with the authentication server. In this example, we will use port 7778. 
This example further assumes that the authentication server might want to retrieve meter data from the printer, which could be used for accounting purposes. It will do this using SNMP on port 161. Note that the printer retains the use of port 80 to host its web page, but that the TCP Converter 2 hosts its web page on port 81. The user's print driver would typically be reconfigured to send all print jobs to the authentication server, where they will be held until the user's employee badge is detected at the card reader. The print driver might also be reconfigured to hold jobs on the desktop print queue for later release by the authentication server. This slide is focused on power-up and the normal activities done by the system administrator. Let's assume there's no previous MAC address-based IP reservation for the printer's old IP address on the DHCP server. To further simplify this example, let's allow that DHCP will now assign the TCP Converter 2 with the IP address originally assigned to the printer. Then at power up, the TCP Converter 2 will receive the printer's former IP address from the customer's DHCP server. At power up, the printer will now receive its IP address from the TCP2 Converter's DHCP server. Since the printer is now on a separate network, it can retain its hostname of EasyPrint1 and will always receive the same IP address from TCP Converter 2. For this example, that address is 192.168.50.100. If the administrator wishes to reach the printer, they would use the same hostname of EasyPrint1, which is the way they would have previously used to reach the printer. Because the TCP Converter 2 contains a router function, it will direct appropriate traffic to the printer using the printer's original IP address. If the administrator wishes to change any configuration options on TCP Converter 2, the device can now be reached with the hostname of EasyPrint1, but using port 81. This slide is focused on card-based authentication and the release of the user's print jobs. For this example, we will assume the solution partner has configured the authentication server with all of the necessary information to link the user's employee badge with their name and with any other required credentials. We further assume that the system has been configured to either hold the user's print jobs on their desktop or to hold them in the server's print queue. This behavior is dependent on the actual authentication and printing solution deployed. In either case, we will assume that the user has queued up jobs which need to be printed. We assume the authentication server has been configured to associate the TCP Converter 2 with the attached printer. That way, when an employee badge is presented, the server knows where to send the jobs to be printed. When the user arrives at the printer and swipes their badge, TCP Converter 2 will send that badge number to the authentication server. The server uses the badge number to discover the cardholder's name. Depending on how the solution works, it either searches through the server's print queue or it may reach out to the desktop print queue to release all of the user's print jobs. These jobs are then sent to the TCP Converter 2, which forwards them along to the connected printer. In this example, the jobs are sent via LPR using port 9100. Some authentication solutions read meters within the printer before the job starts and after it completes, and they use that information to determine how many pages were actually printed. In this example, the authentication server reaches out to the printer to read its billing meters at its old hostname of EasyPrint1. The TCP converter passes SNMP traffic to the printer using port 61 so the meters can be read. This completes the flow of events for card-based release of held print jobs. In summary, we have shown how the TCP Converter 2 can be used to enable card-based features like authentication and pull printing on devices which do not have support for the connection of a USB proximity card reader. TCP Converter 2 can work with network printers from any printer manufacturer while consuming only one IP address from the customer's network. TCP Converter 2 is offered with competitive pricing. Contact us for a quote or to get answers to any other questions you may have. Thank you for watching and listening to this presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via phone or email. Shown here is our contact information for the U.S. and for the rest of the world. 
also shown as our email address for any support questions you may have. Thanks again for watching.